Pearl Harbor, December 7, 1941, the day of infamy. But the real infamy did not take place here or on that date. It happened one week earlier, miles away on the other side of Oahu at Haia, overlooking an ancient fish pond on Kaneohe Bay. This was the location of Station H, one of many shortwave listening stations operated by the U.S. Navy. Station H was located here and obscured from the road by a store. Today, the location of Station H is a state park. Few clues remain as to its role in the history of Pearl Harbor. The tourists who flock to the USS Arizona never stop by here. There is the park building itself. Off to one side, the remains of a road. And here and there, strange concrete rings almost overgrown peek through the grass and shrubbery. In one case, planters have been set over one ring to partly conceal it, but close examination reveals the rusted remains of the bolts which held the antenna towers in place, while off to one side the concrete foundations of the radio intercept station building remain. These are the bones of Station H, and they tell a story of Pearl Harbor few have heard. On November 25, 1941, Station H intercepted a message from Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto to the Japanese fleet ordering them to sail into Hawaiian waters and be prepared to attack. Documents declassified in 1994 confirmed that cryptanalysts in Hawaii had broken the code used by the Japanese Navy and were able to read the message, which was sent off to Washington, D.C., but never given to the Hawaii commanders, Admiral Kimmel and General Short. The attack on Pearl Harbor, far from being the surprise attack it was claimed, was the result of a deliberate provocation plan created by the ONI and followed by Roosevelt to go Japan into the attack, with the goal of tricking Americans into the war against the Axis powers. Station H knew the Japanese fleet was coming. And now Station H is all but gone. Little remains. This is What Really Happened, reporting from Hawaii.